This podcast is brought to you and powered by Sunday Cool Teas. Watch or listen to this ad. Nice. She kept looking at us during the thing. Oh, yeah, you got to look, look at, at the people yeah, look when you do it. at the camera. What are you doing? This podcast is brought to you and powered by Sunday Cool Teas. Watch. What? No, what are you no, doing? What are you doing? Look you got to look at the, the people. Yeah. I'm looking at the camera. Yeah. You looked away. Yeah, you, you looked away halfway through. Come I w- No, I was time. looking at the camera. Hey, just, do, you, just try it one more time. You guys are just mad that I'm doing it right. And that you guys have never done it right in your life. We've done it right Whoa. so many times. I've no. done it more than anybody. No, you do it wrong every time. Watch this! Thank you. Up to you. Hello, I'm everyone. Saying, I was going to take that side. Oh. Hey, everybody. How's it going? <laughs> What's up? I was uh, trying to tell them about SundayCool.com. Oh, were you? Yeah, I was. What about them? Well, it's, you know, it's kind of coming near to the end of summer. Mm-hmm. And uh, a lot of things are happening. A lot of people have been traveling. A lot of people are doing stuff. Yeah. And everyone needs shirts. Yeah, they because do. Because the summer is coming to a close. If you didn't have shirts, you'd just be naked. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. And so speaking of clothes, you need to go to SundayCool.com. Hey, don't get too close because then I'm going to be out of focus. Um, That's all right. But if you go to sundaycool.com, you can order shirts, you can order stickers, hats, anything that you would need for your group or your business or your church, organization, whatever it may be. Y'all need to show your logo, your brand. And there's no better way to do that, to build your brand than to go through sundaycool.com. That's right. Absolutely. What else do you got to say, Josh? I actually didn't hear anything you said, so. Well, you don't have to hear anything. You can just add on to what I was saying. um, Just say, yeah, just say something. Apparel, apparel boys, we know it. Put your shirts down around time. Yeah. Uh, and also, we just have a lot of different types of inks and uh, processes that we would really like to share with you to make your, your apparel extra unique. Like this shirt, it's a puff print. You can actually really feel it, and it's a cool, cool shirt. We can get you done literally whatever you want for you or your group. We can make it happen. Hey, buddy, what are you, are you, what are you doing? This ad is too long now. We're wrapping it up right now. Okay. Why? It is the worst movie that's what? ever been written and filmed. That's okay. Tell me your that is a ridiculous claim. I that's insane. I had the ick the whole time. I used so, to like oh, Adam Sandler, so and then so, I saw that movie. So the movie made you feel emotions did adam sandler sell to you that he's this terrible dude yeah and that's how good of an actor he is no again he's a good actor but yeah was, i hated it i hated everything i wish it had I never been produced that. i can't believe that everyone loves that movie lily who's everyone, everyone everyone who's everyone look look it up everyone loves that movie Ugh. How dare you? Josh didn't like it either. He I just, did. I did like no, it. No, you're being dishonest. You even said I hated that movie. When no, we I did not. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. You said, oh, that movie. No, I said it's a terrible feeling movie. You didn't like it. I I told you the hey, day after. I'm going to tell you it. how you feel. <laughs> I said I liked it. No. He not loved it. Not to me. Why did you think I wanted to finish it? You said I have to finish it. Yeah, because I liked it. Do your impression of uh, Adam Sandler and Uncut Gems. The diamonds not worth it. <laughs> the door, the door. <laughs> the diamond ring. Put everything on the Celtex. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, he, ah. does, he does do this a lot. Yeah, dude. He was. The thing is, when I watched that movie, I was like, I, "This is not Adam Sandler." Like there was like a whole yeah. like hour went by. I'm like, I'm watching a movie that is Adam Sandler right now. This is it just he just played that character so well. It was a terrible feeling movie. Oh, though. it's the worst. <laughs> like it does it, the, your anxiety's going the whole time. You yeah. want you want to punch him in the face for all the decisions he's making. Yeah. The acting was really good though. Yeah, I will say so good. it was good. And Kevin Garnett, Garnett he's yeah. awesome. He's a freaking huge NBA player. Yeah, like, yeah crushed it. KG, oh, crushed it. KG well, baby. I wonder how they landed that miracles. Are, what does he say? He screams like. Anything can happen. <laughs> Anything oh, yeah. is possible. I had I had such high anxiety that entire movie because I was like, and I kept saying, what do you mean? You know, like, because he would be like, I don't have the rock. And he'd be like, I sold your ring. And I'm like, what? How are you guys doing this? Do you have a conscience at all? But I figured you'd like it just because you like those watch guys. Yeah. And that's what I told that's you. What he said yeah. the watch thing. I said, yeah. I love this because it, it is like as soon, as soon as I knew you were into that, I was like, oh, you need to watch Uncut yeah. Gems. It's perfect. Uncut Gems. Uncut Gems. I was... 
Josh Satie's muse when he wrote Uncut Jazz. Uncut Jazz. Uncut Jazz. Oh my gosh, are you okay? <laughs> Acting. Mm. Oh. That was really good. Thank you. Your eyes got super red. Yeah, no, I was trying to actually <laughs> choke myself a little bit. <laughs> you sure? You don't need Maybe one. really committed to the joke. Cough drop. I'm sure that'll be nice to hear on the... Nice. Um, here we are. Here we are on our podcast called Ninjas Are Butterflies, which apparently, to uh, according to a YouTuber comment, is the worst podcast he's ever seen. Yep. Well, what number one. Testimony. Well, number one. We should put that on a t-shirt. He said, officially the worst podcast I've seen. Can we? We're number one in something, and we, it's being the worst on his category. Can we make that a t-shirt? That's a good t-shirt. Ninjas of Butterflies. And it says, the worst <laughs> podcast this guy has ever seen. And then yeah. we just, his username. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> Let's do it. We can we'll make that it. like a pre-sale. Yeah. Would um, you guys speaking buy it? of pre-sale, I'm just going to plug it since we're talking about shirts. Hey, hey guys, look at that shirt you got on there, bro. <laughs> shirt. Look at this. Hey, Woo. look. We have a very cool new design limited time not new it's just our old design but it's on a black shirt but that's not just any regular shirt no it's a sunday cool shirt hey that's (laughs) where we work (laughs) um you can get those at Mm sundaycoolswag.com or go to ninjas or butterflies.com you'll find it there too um yep and it is a very small limited run so go get them because they're gonna be out fast go fast yeah they may already may already be gone by the time this podcast comes out. Whoa! Whoa. Still go look though. Yeah, we'll post it. We always have merch up. Yeah, it just depends on what is available. So. Yeah. Um, song. Fun? Yeah. Yeah. Song. All right. Song. Okay. What's well, um? What are you thinking? Uh, oh man, I mean, I grew up with Gen X parents. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm thinking 80s is Ooh. a really cool vibe, like a synthy kind of feel. Ooh, Ooh, but like like the like British 80s, yeah, kind of like the oh, Tears for Fears kind of feel. Oh uh, yeah, everybody, everybody wants, wants to rule the world. That's crazy because there's like there's something similar in this. Thing. Oh, on right, that right now? No way. Uh-huh. Can you put like? Can you build it real quick? Yeah, hold on. Can you just yeah, crush the numbers a little bit. Beat is built. You think you got it? it. Okay. I saw yep. I saw a guy do an impression of his Keurig the other <laughs> day, and impressive. it was so good. I saw it, that was, too. it was like. Like it was like down to. I was like, am I? I closed my eyes for a second. I was like, this is too real. Yeah, it sounded perfect. All right. Song. Here we go. 80s. Song. Mm, 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 mm. Episode 47. Two old dogs go to heaven. Did giants walk among us on earth? Ninjas are butterflies. Are aliens coming for you? And do they go pee and poo? Are lizard people ruling this world? Ninjas are butterflies. The earth is hollow, the moon isn't real. The AI robots are starting to feel. Did Finding Nemo cause the pandemic? Ninjas are butterflies. It's time to stop the show. So buckle up, we're ready to go. Sit on back, let's start the chat. And by the way, the earth is flat. (laughs) Ninjas are butterflies. Oh my gosh. Good song, innit? In it? Good song, innit? Yeah, let me just have a sip more water. Oh, I'm gonna have a sip of my jimmy, don't. 
Mm. How was that? Really good. <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh, butterflies. butterflies. That's amazing. DJ Andrew, add it again. Perfect. Do you have pink eye? <laughs> oh, do you? Do you have pink eye? Your eye is pink on the corner. Who is farted it? on you? Is it? <laughs> it is. It is. Got that pink eye. I hope I don't. <laughs> that was a very good song. You oh my gosh. Out? You got, <laughs> that was a very good song. I got distracted. <laughs> Guys, that was amazing. Thanks. Oh my gosh. That was actually uh, not our beat, but we found it. It's an yeah. uncopyrighted song online. Oh. And so it's already made for us. So we just got to come up with lyrics and stuff. Yeah. It, it gave me very Blue Monday vibes too. Yeah. Mm. I was mm. trying to do my little David Bowie impression. For the chorus. He's <laughs> <laughs> Um. Yep. British eighties. That's just a little bit us. I love we're just it. you're just goofing off with our songs. Oh, do we have a DeLorean? Because we just time traveled. <laughs> <laughs> Some people say uh, they hate the songs and they always skip it. Mm -hmm. But there's more people that say they love the songs and it's their favorite part. Maybe we should put a song in the middle of the episode to surprise some people. <laughs> <laughs> people that hate it. Yeah, let's just bust out into song again. <laughs> um, but everyone be quiet. Oh, sorry. Um, because we have a question sent in by our viewer. Okay. Um, I won't say who this person is. We'll just say they're a viewer. Okay. <clears throat> no, one, no reason to call people out. No. Um, today's question. Do ladies yap too much? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Whoa. Uh, took me by surprise. Uh, no, they do not yap too much. That's kind of a crazy way yeah. to say that. But yeah, no, they definitely do not. Yeah, Andrew. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. I, as a girl dad, I, I can say that. No. Yeah. No. No? Yeah. No? No, no they do not Oh, yap my goodness. goodness. Jeez, Lil. We ain't got all day, Oh, Lil. my gosh. Yeah, yeah. Welcome yeah. to the show. Yeah. Welcome Andrew. to the show. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> We don't have all day. We don't Lily. have all day. <laughs> you guys. I was just yapping and That was yapping. the quickest we came up with the question today because we're just like trying to come up with something. And the ladies yap too much? <laughs> no, they don't. Of course not. No. I love when my ladies yap. Yeah. I go home and I get to talk to them. I love it. Yeah. Demi's now getting to the point where every time I put her to sleep, we put her down. Uh, <laughs> we go back to you bed and uh, I we just chat. No joke. She sits up and like she puts like a, a pillow for me and we just talk for like 30 minutes. Aww. And she just gets just yapping away. Just yapping. Yeah. Boom. Go to sleep. <laughs> um, <laughs> what's new, everyone? Actually, before we start, can we... I put something down. Did you see my bag? Your bag? My bag? Oh, no. One second. No, I did not see your bag. Okay, one sec. Is there a bomb in it? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> to complete this call, please press the following digits. No additional charges apply. Four, two. What's going on? One second. Uh. This. One sec. Oh, no. One second. I got to call somebody real quick. It'll be worth it. I promise. I hope so. I to check. Please press the following digits. No additional charges apply. Eight. Six. Eight six. Okay. Are we calling a prison? No. <laughs> Hello. That's weird. I was trying to call the White House. Oh. Because I left. Uh, oh. Laying around <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> 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 that didn't work out as well as I thought it would because I called them earlier and they, they like you, like, you they have an open line so you can no call way. them like, and they answer like White House. But we'll they try. hung up on you. Yeah. Apparently. Oh. Because they're like, quit calling about this thing. <laughs> hey. I'm going to call for a bit later. Can I? Can you guys be cool about that? <laughs> I was so confused. I, no, I was trying. It really would have worked out really well if it just like, White House, how's it going? Also, you made a joke that you are, you use uh, illegal substances. It's not a joke, Josh. Oh. It's not a joke. It's Yikes. not a joke. It's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> it's a problem. And I need help right now. Oh. You heard about that, right? No, I'm, I'm lost. In the oh, White yeah. House, they found the bag of cocaine. Oh, yeah, 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 cocaine. Yeah, yeah. El cocaine. Yeah. In the West Wing. In the West Wing. Which is very Beauty and the Beast. Mm. It was right next to the you know they, Rose. You know they oh. know who it is. Can I? 
<laughs> we don't know who it is. It could be some crazy little intern running around with coffee. It could. Yeah. She, she brought up Beauty and the Beast. Mm. Can I dive into this conspiracy for like 30 seconds? I told you about it. Do you remember? I do. Yeah. So why no one's ever allowed to go over there? Why? So you remember everything in that house is alive. Oh, you've told me this. I told you? Yes, but go ahead and say it. it what is this, Night of the life, Museum? Though. No, but, but, but remember. Kind of. He destroyed everything on that side. Remember, he tears the pictures. Ooh. Beast. The beast. Okay, yeah. He like yeah. tears pictures. He yeah. breaks stuff. Well, everything came back to life as people. So what happens in that wing when everything comes back to human form? Just a bunch of dead people. <laughs> yeah. Dead people! Because that this. other furniture. Scary. <laughs> Clean up an aisle three. <laughs> <laughs> Scary. When I was Googling last week to do that like fun fact about Disney, there's more like dark things that people want to say about Disney than like light things. And I was so spooked out <laughs> seeing Mickey Mouse like with all these headlines. I'm like, this is like. Do you so have freaky. one? Do you remember no, one? I don't want to talk about it. Anymore. I want to hear one. Just one. one. Just give us one. I don't even remember. I just have this like really burned image of Mickey Mouse like looking so creepy. And it's like Mickey Mouse time traveled or something. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, this is scary. It's spooky. <laughs> have you, You've heard the um, conspiracy theory behind the Frozen movie. What? Because they named the movie Frozen simply because when people search Disney Frozen. They don't ever find articles about Walt Disney so being frozen. Funny. Oh, so, so like funny. that's like so that, that way they just like got to get off the trail or at least on the internet searches yeah. and stuff. Weird. Yeah. Do you funny, know right? that his parents died from carbon monoxide poisoning? Dude, that's which a is my worst story. fear. It's my worst fear. I did not know that. That's yeah. so scary. He, so he started Disney and uh, came into a bunch of wealth, and he moved his elder elderly parents to a new house. He bought a house that was close to him and his family. And it was like within a month, um, they, I think, yeah, both of them died, both right? Of them died, both yeah. of them died from a carbon monoxide leak in Jeez, their house. How yeah. sad is that? How old so was he? Um, I don't know, maybe his forties or yeah, something. Maybe. His Man. mom's name was Lily too. Oh, mm. that's so sad. Which is my name. Yeah. <laughs> Which is I only say, my name. I only say that because everybody's comments always like Josh's wife or the chick on the, the girl, show, the girl. <laughs> And I'm like, I have a name. Lily gets the most comments out of all of us. Yeah, she does. Because love, hate, love, and hate. attraction. No. And yes. Yeah. I've seen them. <laughs> You're not saying no. It's, but you've seen it. We've made jokes like, about no. it. No. No. Tell me about them, though. What are they saying? <laughs> Is there more? What? Um, what do they say? You know, um, the carbon dioxide thing made me think of, uh, you know, Jamie Lee Curtis. I'm pretty sure it's Jamie Lee Curtis. But her, how you know how her parents passed away? How? It's... uh. Kind of, it's actually terrifying. It's tra very traumatic, but they were on a, um, they were like in a Corvette or something like that, or some type of, uh, what is it, convertible. And they're driving down the highway uh -oh. and a semi truck. <gasps> was in front of them? And they went underneath the semi truck um, into the tires and everything like that. And that is why their family, that tr that accident is literally what caused them to uh, put those braces underneath trucks, semi trucks, <gasps> like on the backs, oh. those metal bars. Oh, wow. that. But that's her parents, and oh, her, her, her mom was like a supermodel or an actress or something like that. They had a, mm. there was a big family. What makes so. someone a supermodel? I've always wondered that. They, they have like, like powers right here. It's a distinguishing thing. Hold on they look. wear capes. Oh, yeah, it's regular models, but they wear capes. I'm not a model. I'm a supermodel. Super <laughs> I have off. I have superhuman looks. <gasps> <gasps> I can stop you in your tracks. <laughs> no, you can. <gasps> Oh, you couldn't possibly. <laughs> <laughs> I can't move. <laughs> what have you How done to frozen? me? Um, it's a monetary difference. And because they are household names. Like you say Giselle, but you don't say that chick on the Abercrombie cover. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got mm -hmm. it. Oh, that's smart. All right. So they. So that's like, so you're not really a you know, model. Super, I'm a model. Podcast. I'm not a super model. Mm. I'm just kidding. Know I'm neither. Andy and Josh from the podcast. Yeah, they yeah. know that chick on the couch. Yeah. yeah. The, the Ooh, chick. That's true. Ouch. Um, did you guys hear about the uh, Japanese military AI robot? Thing? No. Um, Andrew sent this to me, and it's the most terrifying thing ever. It's Hit me. It's insane. Hit All right. Me. So in Japan, uh, I guess we're just going to go dark for this. Let's do right it. No, wait, we've wait. already had like, we're already 16 too minutes late. in. We've got a lot Intermingle. of it's too, late. it's too late. Go we're dark going. and then I, go I got, light. I okay. got a funny AI thing for after this. So okay. Perfect. okay. Yeah. All right. So in Japan, they're working on these uh, miller, military robots that were powered by AI. Okay. Military. <laughs> I'm going to fight you. <laughs> hey, it's military time. <laughs> Continue. 
Hey, everyone comment mean things about Lily. I'm always trying to defend you, and you're here attacking me. That does sound like how like a southern person would call the military. Like, that military. All right. Like, everyone be quiet. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. In Japan, they're building military <laughs> AI robots. Oh, no. There was four of them. And they went crazy and killed 29 people <gasps> in the lab. Yeah. No. When was this? Uh, don't know. Um, but then. How so have we not heard about this yet? They exactly. took two, two of the robots they turned off. The third one was taken apart completely. And the fourth one, I think they like shot it or something. Like, so oh it was like gosh. damaged. Listen. <laughs> Dude, just wait. Crawling. Why do listen, we need listen, this? Listen, listen. <laughs> they shot the fourth one. And then it began restoring itself using orbiting satellites. To what? It, so it, it was like orbiting satellites. It connected to them and taught itself how to fix itself. Yeah. No, 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 no. Dude, this is a this is a terrifying world that we're building. Dude, yes, this is so scary. This is iRobot to an extreme. Well, yeah. When, when you connect it with what is it, Starlink? The thing yeah, that Elon's yeah. doing. There will be nowhere off grid. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Mm. And I, I saw you saw that picture of the globe of where all the satellites. No joke, it's mm -hmm. like dimples on a golf ball. You see all the satellites, the um, yeah. Starlink satellites that are happening right now. I say that we just be AI vigilantes, and we go and you know those big like farms that have like the electric towers. We go and we turn them all off. Mm, I don't think that would work. <laughs> um, but on that same topic, I like, I like the idea. <laughs> just like shot down and moved on. <laughs> Look, all right, look at this. <laughs> Speaking of AI robots, this kid was like running from the police. Okay. And they oh, had the, the robot dog. Look chasing after it. Look, you see it? Oh, no, farts. you're taking screenshots. Do you see it? It's a dog? A it's robot, a robot dog? dog? Whoa. Working with the police, chasing this kid. What does it have? Dude. What happens when he catches him? <laughs> <laughs> just like an you just go, sit! <laughs> Okay, fine. It's like an R two D two, like electric probe, dude. That would be. I just. We have so many things to be afraid of and worry about. I don't need robots coming after me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't need the threat. Like, dude, it's, it's, like guns don't work at that point. It's obviously, becoming, it's becoming a real thing, Ugh. man. Of just like building military, or like military grade AI stuff. Like that plane that I showed you. That I'm pretty sure we saw. The f um, yeah yeah the um was I don't it know Falcon that. something no yeah was it Fal no. Falcon no no that's Falcon Nine was the mouse conspiracy no 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 I'm thinking whatever plane uh, Pegasus oh yeah yeah how yeah. it is flown by AI mm -hmm. and it's just like how like how can you train something to be like this is a bad guy yeah this is not you can't what if the aliens that we're seeing so many so much of is coming to prepare us for this war, and they're going to fight on our behalf. They're going to take over. Well, the aliens on our team. They're, they're on our team. That's why they're super surveilling us more and more now because AI is growing bigger. Now so we that, just created another conspiracy. Makes, you know, you know how elephants, when they look at humans, have the same part of their brain activates that humans do when they look at babies and yeah. think yeah. we're cute. Yeah. Do aliens Which do that with humans too? I would, I would hope so. What, they think we're, think we're cute. I'd be a we're pet. Cute like babies. I'd be a pet, dude. Sure. I told. I bet to squeeze cheek. I say goo goo gaga <laughs> to the alien. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, so I, cute. Oh, I want him. <laughs> I, I think I subscribe to the whole thing that all these aliens coming back are actually people from the future. Ooh. If, I, I was talking to Josh about this, but if yeah. you like look at a human head from like years ago, I hate this. The jaws were much bigger, right? Because yeah. we used our jaws to like, you know, rip apart. Yeah. Me. Like to, to do stuff like that. But the foreheads were receded. And so if you think about how we've evolved, the jaws come in, the heads gotten a little bit bigger on the top end. And so if there is a cataclysmic event and we become underground people, our eyes will enlarge as well. So if you think of all the like mm. cliche oh. alien pictures, translucent skin, big <laughs> eyes, small like, jaws. I'm so scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so scared of all of it. But that would mean that to your point, they are coming back to help. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm, they I'm hoping care so. about humankind. That's where I'm going to put my money on. Okay, yeah, Josh, that was your cue to go. Mm, cataclysmic. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do it. I missed it. <laughs> um, there's, I showed you guys, but I haven't shown you. I saw this video. It was in Arizona and they were like waiting for a fireworks show. And you saw this thing. It looked like a meteor coming down. 
And they're like, oh, wow. It's like bright orange. It's leaving a stream. And then all of a sudden, it breaks apart. And then these like three or four like light bulbs thing or like lights in the sky just stop. Yeah. And then they They start going sideways. Turn. And the lady's like, what the? And then scrolled a little more. Someone caught something almost exactly like that in Florida. Same night. Oh, no. Yep. Yep. Same Came down, but it separated into like seven. Oh, no. And they dropped. And then they started going this way. And then I saw some in Texas, in Oregon. Look at this. Hold on. People Uh, said it's like, oh, skydivers. And it's like, do you know how skydiving works? Can you see this? Yeah. All right. Watch this. How would that be a skydiver? Yeah, no. Well, they said they were like skydivers with like flares. But like, how do they stop and then go sideways? So you see it break apart. Weird. Right? Hold on. Breaks apart. Those stop up there. Weird. Those (gasps) stop. And then I don't those four stop. And they just hold in formation. Yeah. They turn up almost. So it's like, that's not, it, it's, it's weird. I don't know. And the fact that it was, there's several videos from several different angles. Yeah. yeah. Several different places on the same night. Yeah. Oh, it's weird. It's weird. weird. It's weird. And then this one, this will be the, the last UFO video I'll show you today. Um, this camera, like the, like a tree cam, you know, like a hunting cam. Mm-hmm. Um, it like flipped on because there's a raccoon in front of it. And then just this craft. I'll show you first. Flies over it. You see this? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. It literally looks like the classic spaceship where it has like four lights on either side and it's going right over it. Can you see this? I think what scares me right now the most is that I just don't, you don't know what's doctored and what's not. I know. Did you see it? It looks legit. Oh, okay. I'll send it to you. It definitely looks legit, but it's like... What to believe? What to believe? I know I get bamboozled all the time. I'll send Josh something. He's like, "That's AI," and oh. I'm like, "A bamboozled <laughs> again." Now, now we got to think about it. If we are truly that cute to aliens and we want to get adopted, <laughs> yeah, dogs. What do they? You know, when people come in to you know like the humane society, they're sitting down and they're they're like, "Let's get my pretty eyes on." I'll do a spin. I'll do a flip or a trick if I have to. Yeah, we all have to start. Oh, coming practicing. up with yeah, like what's your go-to moves? Oh no, okay. I have no like, talent. Get, like they're like, okay, so there you go. Yeah, exactly. It's just like AGT. You come out and you like show us what you got, <laughs> and then to the pit. I'm, or, I'm gonna revert to this. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen this guy on the YouTube. Oh <laughs> yeah, I want him. <laughs> <laughs> and the golden buzzer. It's really just you get evaporated. <laughs> they don't oh, like God. you. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, um. Yeah. Oh, can I share my AI thing? Yes, yes please. I, I think I've shared it with you before, but it's just so funny to me. Um, they had an AI bot write an obituary for this lady, <laughs> and it's just a very, it's just very funny because uh, so they just it's got a classic newspaper clipping that, and her nice little picture there, and it says this is real, like this was put in the paper. And yes, stuff? it says Brenda Trent, Brenda Tent, retired from living at the age of old, surrounded ah. by family and natural causes, <laughs> <laughs> a librarian from birth. Brenda was an avid collector of dust. She had a sweetheart and married her high school. (laughs) What? (laughs) She loved having hobbies and helping her sons to be disadvantaged youths. She had no horses, but she thought she did. (laughs) (laughs) The church gave her a choir because she sang like a bird and looked like a bird. And Brenda was a bird. (laughs) She owed us. She owed us so many poems. (laughs) The funeral will be held in 1977 at heaven in lieu of flowers. Send Brenda more life. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my this was really posted. Yeah. So funny. Why did no one proofread that? I don't like that. I think they probably thought it was a joke or something. I don't know. Oh, it's so funny. that's great. So oh. they don't really get us. AI is kind of dumb. Yeah. Maybe some parts. I made us laugh. Maybe they're trying to be comedians. Yeah. I didn't or mean maybe they're AI. trying to convince us that they are dumb. Hey, uh. I didn't mean that AI. <laughs> hey, we AI. We, hey, AI, we know you're listening. What was that stat that you said the other day of like the internet, like how the dead internet theory? Yeah, dude, we we'll, explain we need, this. We need to go into bit. a we need to go into a depth uh, uh, a lot more. But um, the whole idea behind the dead internet theory is that right now only f- like about fifty percent, and they, they registered in twenty nineteen, fifty percent of the internet activity is bots, are is not mm. real people, and they just they say by twenty twenty six that ninety eight percent of all internet activity will be bots. 
And so you have, you fl- you go on Facebook, right? You have people that are friend requesting you yeah. that have friends, but they have like a very, like it's weird a cartoon page. image, yeah. weird image. It's like, uh, it's an emoji or something. Yeah. And they interact. You've had it, people interact with your story and stuff. Yeah. Those are bots. Those are literally creating and they're creating posts on Twitter, on Reddit, on Facebook, everywhere. And they're having more bots interact. And so that's the thing is like when we look at Facebook, they, they send in a ton of reports about like their, uh, like, so you want, you want to buy ads for Facebook mm. want, as your company, you want to pay for ads so it can be promoted. And so when they got in trouble because they found out most of the people that oh, are yeah. viewing their ads are bots. Are bots. Are bots. Oh, so and so it's not, like, it's, yeah, it's nobody. Oh and so they're wasting the money. So they had to change a bunch of the, um, it's like an idea of how many views you had or engagements or whatever. Oh my gosh. And so there's, there's just a ton more to it, but they said the um, the internet died back in 2016 mm. because of their they started introducing a lot of AI bots and stuff like that and so I don't like that I know it it's weird you never know who you're interacting with we maybe we don't maybe know. maybe we're not close to ha- hitting a half a million that's what I was about on to YouTube. say maybe we were, we weren't number 37 on Spotify whoa Aww. maybe just we're bots. just maybe the bots just like us maybe the AI likes us hey hey that'd be pretty cool maybe the guy that cool. said that our podcast is the worst is a bot ooh Let's maybe pretend that. If you think yeah. hey, AI, if you think we're the best, maybe make us better than Joe Rogan. Yeah, AI, <laughs> put us at number one. I don't know. I don't know. If, you like me, <laughs> if you like me, you like me. You think know. I'm cute? <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm, I don't know, you think I'm cute? Um, mosquitoes. Hate them. They're the I worst, right? I keep itching the same mosquito bite. I have. Like, I had. I sat in the pool yesterday. Had like four huge bumps just from them. They're well, worse. this is gonna make you feel really awesome. Cool. Um. So there's this company that was funded by the uh, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. And last year, a year ago, they released, um, I'm pretty sure in Florida or across the nation, they released 50,000 genetically modified mosquitoes. For what purpose? I don't know. I didn't yeah. do that much research. I've it's, heard, it, of, it, I've it heard was, a theory. It was predominantly in Florida, and it was to delete the negative okay. mosquito population and disease. But now... For the first time in 20 years, malaria has entered Florida. Hey, malaria. What, yeah. is, what is malaria? What is that at? What does that do? Uh, you get it like a lot in like Africa and Africa. stuff. Like you, it's, so, it'll it's kill a you. fever. Really? Yeah. Fever yeah. And- like the conspiracy is the new mosquitoes that he introduced were, su- or I say he, the company yeah. introduced, were supposed to kill mosquitoes that carried malaria. And so they were specifically designed to combat those diseases but we haven't had a case of malaria in the u.s in over 20 years and since they released these mosquitoes so far from what i know there's been five cases of malaria four in florida and then one in texas a swing and a miss bill a swing Ah, and a miss stop (laughs) messing with the bugs and stop doing all this stuff (laughs) we're going after the titanic quit touching the mosquitoes leave everyone alone you know bill gates also owns like the majority of all farmland in the u.s a lot yeah that's crazy it's saw, like, yeah. why? Have you heard the, the real conspiracy behind the mosquito thing, though? Was that not it? No, there's another thing, too, that oh, they us. were vaccinating everybody. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Mosquitoes were vaccinating Like, like the everybody. COVID vaccine? Yeah. <laughs> that's hilarious. I don't know how Could that would work Could you imagine if that all? came out true? That would be the funniest thing in the world. That would like, be crazy. Just Florida mosquitoes no going way. around just <laughs> dropping vaccines. And I don't people. know. We haven't gotten COVID since OG. <laughs> Yeah, crazy. <laughs> that is so funny. We've oh gotten it twice. No, we didn't test the other time. I don't think we had it. Oh, um, speaking of farming, do you, do you have you seen that laser uh, weed detector that they have on tractors now? Laser beam, dude, it's insane. Oh yeah, they have an actual lasers underneath the tractor, and instead of using pesticides or anything, which cool, is, they're literally zapping. <gasps> you see it in real time, just zapping all the weeds around. It's phenomenal. It's crazy. That's so cool. Yeah, it's super neat. Wow, AI gets a hold of that. Yeah, it just Uh-oh. zaps us, makes it a thousand times bigger, and it's just like whoever wants to um, obey or not. <laughs> zap, zap, zap. The, a lot of people love this podcast because we make them laugh, <laughs> but I think we're, we're also just breeding into them just anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. Yeah, you sorry. just got to laugh it off. You just got to understand. Just, yeah, what are you going to do about it? The world's going to end. You just might as well have fun while doing it. Yeah. One yeah. of my most favorite comments we ever gotten was somebody said, ah, oh, yes. My weekly dose of anxiety. (laughs) 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 Oh, yep. So you're not alone in it. That's the most important thing. (laughs) Anxiety is terrible when you're alone and it's, yeah. So you're not. 
Yeah. Somebody said they were reporting us for misinformation because of last week when we talked the about the president thing. The president thing, but little did they re- remember that we said a seventh grader was the one that <laughs> <laughs> talked yeah. about this. Dude, people were being crazy on those comments yeah. on the reel. Yeah, they're going crazy, having fun with it. Yeah, too much fun. fun. Little too much fun. <laughs> Everyone, hey guys, everyone, calm hey, down. <laughs> quit typing, please. I mean, you're helping out our algorithm. You but, sure uh, are. <laughs> but let's just. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. Um, speaking of anxiety, though. Oh no! Don't tell me, please. Listen, to I can't. This. No, 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 this not yet. Oh, okay. I'm not do that yet. Okay. Um, we got that. Don't go anywhere. Mmm. <laughs> what are you drinking there, Josh? Bunch of stuff. Oh, is there stuff actually in it or no? Or are you just tons doing? of stuff? Oh, what is in there? No, no, you don't need to know. You know what's in mine? What? Deals. What? <laughs> hey guys, here at Sunday Cool, where we work, we produce everything you need from t-shirts, from hats to stickers, but most importantly, drinkware, drinkware. cups, bottles, mugs. mugs. We got it all. All, all, all hey, we, we, everyone has to drink to survive. You might as well be drinking out of something we've made. Okay, all right. This isn't some other paid sponsorship. This is literally what we do for a living, okay? We make these cups, we make these hats, we make these shirts. What are you doing over there? Nothing. Okay, all right, excellent. Um, so make sure to go to sundaycool.com. If you need to get some personalized, custom-made mugs, cups, bottles for you, your group, your organization, go now. Did this come from like the showroom? Yeah. Up front? Yeah. Because I poured water in it, but there's a lot of dust in it, and yeah. I was going to drink it, but now there's a lot of dust in it. But we're going to send you cups and without dust in them. Oh, my oh. gosh. There was dust in there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sundaycool.com. Go. That's disgusting. <laughs> you got me. That was good. Gotcha. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> that ain't good. <laughs> 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 Wasn't that ad fun? I couldn't believe it. Yes. <laughs> I could probably, <laughs> yes. I could hardly contain myself. Nice. Um, <laughs> but you know what time it is. <sighs> question corner, question corner, question corner with Lily. When, when the questions, questions are fresh, fresh out of mind. My question today. <gasps> I'm excited. Is because I'm jonesing. So as we know, Josh and I um, limit ourselves annually to when we can watch our favorite movies series. Mm. And he did promise me that in July on Harry Potter's birthday, the 30th, maybe it's the 31st, I can't remember, we can watch one Harry Potter. Mm. What is this, the Ju- July? On Harry Potter's on birthday. On Harry Potter's birthday, we're allowed to watch one Harry Potter. Ooh. Which is a sin. Because <laughs> we can only watch it in October otherwise. No, because it's witchcraft. <gasps> oh, <laughs> that too. <laughs> so my question, I've never taken the Pottermore test. However, I have gone, I did go to kids college and they hand you an M&M in the color of what house you are. Okay. Out of the sorting hat. Got it. So which Harry Potter house do you most identify with? If you've taken the Pottermore test, what did you get? I've never taken the Pottermore test. Um, uh, I have, and it was Gryffindor. Yeah, you're the main character of your story, so you're I get no, it. You're no Gryffindor. What do you mean? He's a Gryffindor. You're I am. I'm brave. You're a Hufflepuff through and through, baby. That's exactly what a I was going to say. No, get out of here. He's a Gryffindor. Uh, I don't know the difference. Um, oh. you're you're a give me like a quick like a tagline of um, wait, wait, each, wait. each. But I don't know like I don't know the differences between the house except for Gryffindor and Slytherin. What Slytherin. are you talking about? Slytherin. Slytherin. Gryffindor is like brave. Yeah. They have big egos. Yeah. Um, they're usually the main characters in their own story. Yeah. Uh, Hufflepuff is like everybody's buddy. Really, they don't have anything defining. Friendship is like their motto. Got it. Uh, loyalty, Got all it. that stuff. Um, and then Ravenclaw, they're the smart people. Okay. Intelligent. You stop there. I know what I, which one I am. <laughs> <laughs> and then Slytherin, they're cunning. Mm. So they're clever and... Uh, but they're most associated with evil, although everybody's going to blow up in the comments because they're not really evil. They just, yeah, they just get a, a bad rap. I think yeah, we whatever. should add to your question, which do you think you are and which do you think the other people are? Okay, um, even better. I don't know. I, guess, I would guess I'm a Hufflepuff, I guess. I don't know. I would say you're a Hufflepuff. Yeah, I, I think you're Hufflepuff. Or Gryffindor. Or Gryffindor. Yeah. Hufflepuff. Like, you could, be the Neville, brave. you could be the Neville of Gryffindor. The no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dropping out. I'm dropping out of the Hogwarts at that point. You, do you know what you get? What I'm saying by that? Yes. Though? 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, but not at first. All right. The first few movies, but it's not a compliment. You're, the, you're in the last. You're the last. You're uh, like the hero. Movie. You like you're, all the bravery comes Stop. up. You're not Neville. Stop. I know. I know. I'm, all right. I'm Hufflepuff. I'm some random dude in Hufflepuff sending people memes and yeah. TikToks. Cedric Diggory was a Hufflepuff. Hey, nice. <gasps> and he's handsome. So do I still believe? My boy! <laughs> My, that's my boy. That's my, my boy. Son! Mark Van. <laughs> Dude, I always cry at that part. I know. It's it's so so that's my boy. He's back. <laughs> Harry He's Potter. Back. Voldemort. Back. Back. <laughs> it's the worst. <laughs> Don't touch me. <laughs> Get off of him. Um, I would. Yeah, obviously I'm Hufflepuff. Gryffindor. Um, I know you're Ravenclaw gonna... no. or Slytherin. Um, and then Andrew would definitely be Slytherin. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a Ravenclaw for sure because he's yeah. a little bit of a know-it-all. Mm, but so are you. So, But so, but I'm a Slytherin. You're not a Slytherin. I am. That's what I got. The m M&M and I got. You too. would be oh. like if we were, if you, you got cast in the movie, you'd be so perfect for Slytherin because you could Cause I'm play. Pale. Like you, you obviously belong. <laughs> in, no, you obviously belong in Gryffindor, but like the, the, you would play so well into being that like unbelievable bully. <laughs> <laughs> like unbelievable is like no one could actually believe it, but you would like convince people and then you'd be the traitor. You'd be like Snape, like the, like playing for the other side. That's the biggest compliment. Yeah. Snape's yeah. my favorite character. Yeah. How do you feel what about, about you? Harry Potter? I agree with everyone. I took the Pottermore test. I was a Gryffindor. Oh. Gryffindor. Did you lie? Hmm? Did you lie? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you like, whatever. No. Okay, so now at the end of this questions corner, I'm issuing a challenge, and you guys tell me if you just do or do not want this content on the podcast. But I think we should all take the Enneagram. Oh. Again? I, I know what I've I am, but done it's it. like a Christian astrology. <laughs> Or, uh, there's some people that Zodiac are very, signs. very anti Enneagram. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. There's like a very anti. I don't believe it. I don't believe it either. Every time I've taken I mean, it, I've a, there's a lot of people. I mean, it's a personality thing. Because I've done it twice yeah. and it's been different both times. I think Same. it's whatever headspace you're in at the moment yeah. that you take it. Yeah, yeah I think flavors. there's definitely seasons of life. And there's going to be me. people watching this like, no. <laughs> um, That's such a three thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay <laughs> you're such a three i saw a comedian. i don't know what that means i saw a comedian he was like uh he was talking everything and they were he made fun of horoscopes and everything like that and uh the girl he goes uh, uh well i'm an aquarius so, so and then there's a girl from the back she says i knew it <laughs> and then he was like what and he started arguing with her and then he says jokes on you i'm not i'm a virgo <laughs> and like, in your face this is just people went crazy it's so good it's so funny um, yeah, I've taken that test three times, and every time it's just evenly dispersed. Really? So, yeah. Yeah, no you've done that for your the work one too. Every yeah. Yeah, every one of those tests, it's like a circle. I was the uh, mm -hmm. like a high high three all the way. Like What's that? Was, that? That's the uh, achiever. Oh. Yeah. Got Is it because of your daddy issues? Probably. Yeah. I don't think so. All right. Um. Andrew, do you have a reel for us? Wait a minute. I he does, but we got a song. What? Oh, we, we, give we, us a song. Give uh, us a no, oh. a, a band, 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 a band. Uh, Hootie and the Blowfish. What song? Uh, what? I'm trying to think of a song. I'm Hold my hand. Andrew only has a reel. Oh. Oh. That works. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys get to pick. I have a uh, kind of gross, uh, a firework incident. I have. Another bird fact that's not an owl, um, or I have just something incredibly crazy and it's not like gross or shocking. At what was all. the first one? Um, something gross. Yeah. I don't want that. I'm okay. just saying all what right. you said. Give us the last one. You okay. just said. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll send it right. Did the bird one have to do with their um, the bird's chest at all? Yep. I saw that one oh, too and yeah, I saved yeah. it. I, I so it. terrifying. So have you seen it, Lily? No. You've seen it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll have to show Lily after this then. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't want to see. Don't it. click on the chat yet. We hit the chat on oh, three, yeah, and I didn't then even do it in the chat. Guys are such up. dinguses. You didn't do it in the up. chat. Yeah, I just sent it individually. Oh, I messed up. Okay. All right, ready. With volume or no? Uh, it doesn't matter. Oh, let me set it up. Yeah, no volume. Okay. So, Josh, you have experience woodworking. Completely aware of like, if you've ever tried to pick up a stump in your yard, it looks like you know a trash can sized stump is like I could pick that up, and then you go to do it, you just realize wood itself 
is shockingly heavy. Yeah. Dance. So Dance. Dance, I, boys. I have not been able to wrap my head around this clip that you're about to see. Okay, okay. ready? Three, two, one. Open it. Open it. Holy smokes. Dude. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> How does this guy's back... And then in he one goes piece. up a ledge. Are we sure it's that's not gotta like hollow? That's got yeah, to be like a dead. Watch oh, it. What? Watch it. Watch it when he sets oh. it down. Oh, my gosh. Bro. <laughs> oh, my He's gosh. He's a superhero. <laughs> that's insane, He must be a dude. supermodel. He must. And he like yeah. goes and goes, <laughs> takes off. Bro, that's crazy. Right? Jeez. That's like. Someone said, he says they call that around 550, 600 pounds, they said. That's insane. <laughs> On one That's arm, crazy. That's climbing like up a hill. That is like my brother, though. He is the strongest human I've ever met. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I, thought I can do that though. Thought I'd take a break from all the. That's crazy. Things. That is crazy. They say um, they're in the comments. They said it was. Uh, I think he was a, a Spanish guy, an immigrant. So it was like, you know, those guys just freaking work harder than anybody, and so <laughs> that's just but his can, money worth. There. I can lift something like that. Okay, let's do it. There was. I did see a video. <laughs> there's some like. Just those dudes that like have like that just raw strength, yeah. Especially like with grip strength. Mm -hmm. There was like this dude, he was like seventy three, and he was like with these two bodybuilders, like strong dudes that like they're like the strongmen, like yeah. they lift big stuff. And it was the grip test, and it was like, like I don't even know, it was like two hundred something pounds, but like any of those guys could lift two hundred something pounds. But it was all about the grip, yeah. And these dudes, their veins are just like. Ah, oh, they couldn't do it. This old man, seventy three, goes over and just like what? Picks it up, yeah, straight up, dude. Crazy. Old man strength is a different thing too. Yeah, that's crazy. I see like those uh, TikTok challenges. They're like in London, and they just have these this huge weight, and the it's like I don't know, like five hundred pounds or something, and you have to pick it up all the way. Yeah, and all these big guys come around, can't even budget. Oh my those old dudes come dude, around. Old, yeah, just a, it was a mailman or something. Like he was just jacked, but he was an old guy. Comes over, nothing. Like nothing. I'm Crazy. like, dude, it's dumb. Speaking of London, uh, did you see the protests that are happening in France? Oh, do you know or see? more riots than protests? Mm. Um, I've seen a couple of videos. Like it's going bananas over there right now, and it all has to do because this one 17 year old was mm. shot by a police officer. Yes. Terrible story. But it it's like all France, it looks like, is just yeah. erupted. And like... Wow. Once again this year. Devastating, <laughs> yeah, like, of what's happening over there. Um, really bad things are happening, too. Like, it's not cool what they're doing. Yeah. But the crazy part is there's people filming, like, in Paris and, like, all these different cities in uh, France. There's, like... Lions and elephants and zebras just roaming I the street. Yeah, I saw a lion because they like they like broke into the zoo and like oh let gosh. all the animals go. And so there's these cars at like a stoplight, and there's like three or two or three lions just walking past <gasps> their car. That's bonkers. Like, Crazy. Oh no! Oh no! A lion! <laughs> ah, oh. The lion! Rawr. Elephant! <laughs> Do you remember that neighbor Gatsy joke where he's like, "Yeah, but I've got a tiger," and he's like, "You shoot me with a gun and you miss." But a tiger never misses. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, maybe my tiger missed you once. Guess what? He's right behind you. <laughs> Bro, tigers are some of the most terrifying creatures ever. They're scary. I was uh, at that crazy zoo in Kansas. They, no joke, they would feed live feed the tigers right in front of you. It was so cool because they would get on a truck and then they would throw live, um, full chickens, uh, dead chickens, <laughs> over the fence. And no joke, the tigers would run up the fence and then jump off the fence grab it with their mouth and then just dive down in the water and just eat it have you seen that clip of so scary it's like in india or something the dudes are on their like mopeds and they're like there's someone filming like from a car like behind them and it's like bush and, and this tiger is like wah, runs out of the bush and is just like chasing the moped yeah. no scary like, wasn't that the wasn't it a tiger uh that was on top of the roof too that we saw a video of oh no that was a bear that was a bear oh, yeah, yeah. Oof. Okay. golly dude Oof. that's so scary animals are just going through it right now they're yeah. taking over <laughs> robots are taking over aliens are taking over Ali like uh, yeah the orcas dude it's crazy man Maybe they're, we they're now to be they're now in california are they really? Yeah. No, no way. Uh -oh. Yeah, there's like a pod of like 30 plus orcas off the coast of California. You know and what? now we have the taste for human. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to flip your We like human. Did you see like the wholesome orca clip that went viral in the last couple of weeks though? The little baby one that came up to a bunch of divers 
Like it was like, oh wait, no, I, it, it was just a small. Okay. Or it was like they were on a boat, but they were like doing dive stuff, and it came up and it was like doing its high pitched like thing. But it was like it wouldn't leave them alone, and so they follow. They end up following yeah. it, yeah. Dude. And uh, one of the the orcas in the pod was tangled in a net, and they went down, freed it, and it like came back up, said one more thank you, and everything departed. Yeah, wow. they followed him back and thanked so him and everything. And it was the it's the coolest thing. Did I tell you guys about the deer that? I saw the same video too. Oh, I haven't talked about it. Yeah, I know we haven't talked about it though. No, um, I don't know what you're talking there about. There was this guy driving and this mama deer stopped him in the road, like sit in front of the car and wouldn't let him go around. And then he's like, okay. And so he like, the deer like turned and the dude followed the deer for like 10 minutes and the deer like stopped again. He got out of the car and the deer like walked him over to like uh, someone's backyard. Oh. And there was a soccer net. And the uh, there was a baby deer stuck in it, Aww. and the dude freed the baby deer, and they started to leave. But then the mom stopped the baby deer. The baby deer turned around. Oh my gosh! And came over to the guy and like dipped its head. <gasps> like say thank you. Yeah, <laughs> it was crazy. It was like yeah. like most wholesome Wait, look at thing. This. And then uh, yeah. looks at him, comes up to him, and then bows. Oh, and that's so sweet. No it's, way. Yeah, it's just the craziest thing, man. That's so cute. Um, another thing about animals, uh, I saw this on the Joe Rogan podcast. They have found bull sharks in the Great Lakes. Uh-oh. Oh, really? Really? Yeah. They went all the way up the Missouri River. Yeah. Then. And yeah. so, wow. but they're being spotted everywhere, like the Great Lakes, which is a thousand miles from the ocean. Yeah. And they found some in Ohio, just like all throughout the whole river system. They're finding bull sharks. That's amazing. Because like that's, I saw a graph of like we're in bull shark attacks. Uh-huh. And uh, there was like two or three dots like in Missouri. And people like people made memes out of it because they thought it was like a wrong map. They didn't yeah. understand. And so they have just like this shark just floating through the forest. <laughs> it's like sharks and bull sharks in Missouri. But yeah, they like because they can retain the salt in their like uh, inside their body and yeah. their gills and stuff. Oh and so that takes the, they're allowed to go in the freshwater. But they it's said crazy. that they, they've. Like this was a long time ago that they went up these rivers because yeah. now it's like all blocked off by dams really? and stuff. So, but now they're dying off because wow. ain't no salt. Dude, ain't that, no salt. Those bull way. sharks are scary. Remember that one video? The guy is rushing his hands off, like gets done fishing, what is just his hands off in the boat, and then suddenly the shark comes out and just bites on his hand, grabs his arm, oh and gosh. throws him in. They're mean, so, aren't they? Bull sharks are yeah, mean. Yeah, they're, they're aggressive. Like, I got yeah. circled by one when I was fishing a couple weekends ago. I had a uh, like hormone injected bait in my back pocket. Of course you did, <laughs> which is not smart. While surfing, uh, I was there to surf. Stop surfing. Oh, started fishing. And uh, I got circled by like bait fish, and I was like, "This is kind of sketchy." And then someone further up the beach was like, "Hey, headed your way," <laughs> and a bull shark like cruised. I was like, "I need to slowly back out of this water." That's what like, is a okay. hormone injected bait? <laughs> it's what do you like, like to like, know? <laughs> um, they yeah, it's, it's just, just a swole minnow. <laughs> <laughs> like they're in the bait shop and just lifting. What's up? You want me? That's one. It's like fish perfume uh, lures. Oh. It's like wearing, uh, that's like wearing. That's probably how you uh, got pink eye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like wearing deer urine, um, yep. like oh, going yeah. hunting. It's like those bucks that. <laughs> dude, that's, who was that's it? I the saw, worst smell. I saw Terrible. one dude who was like, he was talking about he's never been hunting. Mm-hmm. And his buddy like handed him the deer urine. <laughs> he drank no. it. I <laughs> <laughs> he was supposed to drink oh, it. Oh, no. <laughs> dude, I, oh, I can't even think about that, man. Yeah. Terrible. Ooh. Um, yo, sharks are scary. Sharks yes. are terrifying. Okay. They're but they dude, I, fun fact about sharks. In all there's not out of all the species, like the four hundred species of sharks, they are completely silent. They've just tried to like discover no, like an like organ no, that even makes a sound. They are they make no sounds whatsoever. Don't Oof. like that. Isn't that weird? Yeah. They make no sound. Um Except for fish are friends, not, not food. food. Exactly. Yo, the Discovery Channel, like Shark Week, and all these people are like, uh, like sharks are not bad. And like, it's so rare to get attacked by a shark or eaten by a shark or killed by a shark. Yeah. You're more likely to be crushed by a vending machine. <laughs> I've always heard that. Bro, ever since I've seen that, I'm telling you, I've seen 50 plus videos on TikTok of people getting attacked by sharks. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. I'm like, I haven't seen anyone getting crushed by a vending machine. <laughs> but I've but seen 50 people getting eaten by sharks. But they're not getting they're not getting killed. A lot of them were. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah dude. Your TikTok is dark. I saw this, like, super... I don't want to... I, I won't talk about it because it, like, disturbed me. I couldn't yeah. sleep. Mm. Um, oh, yeah, the Egypt one? That, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, there's yeah. another one, though. Oh. It was in Australia. So bad. Someone floating without legs. Oh, no. 
I went into yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. I went into it. Here we are. Hey, we're diving in. <laughs> no, that's terrible. The image Dude. will always be in my brain. We and we live right down the road from the shark bite capital of the world, New Smyrna. Yes, uh, yeah. it's just every time I go, like they say, you're always within six feet of a shark. I know, yeah. but most of the time they leave you alone. Yeah. But it's just at what point? But those well, most, the shark bites there. They're like the baby sharks, and it's yeah. like yeah. getting bit by a dog. West Coast is that, which that's I don't. Want that's where you die. Yeah, there's yeah. there's some big ones too, though. When, but when you look into like most of the bites that happen in New Smyrna, it's someone like jumping off their surfboard and like landing on. Them. Like if someone oh. jumped and kicked me in the head, I'd probably snap too. Yeah, yeah. And, and actually, every um the past uh, I think it's the past two years, every shark victim in Florida has been tested positive for um, fish hormones. Like yeah. The, the wow. hormone, yeah. So they've been injecting, and so it's that, that's their own fault at this point. Yeah. Uh, that maybe, maybe that was the bait. Maybe if I the got mosquitoes bit. release. <laughs> yeah. oh. Oh. have the fish hormone, and that's what we're being injected with. And so when we go in the so ocean, that's why there's more shark attacks. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. We figured it out. Thanks, yep. Bill. <laughs> Melinda, Man. we still love you <laughs> because she divorced him and gave like all of his money away to charity, didn't she? Oh, well, like a million, hundreds of millions of dollars, I right? Know, but I'm pretty <laughs> sure she's set up pretty well. Yeah, it does a, <laughs> it's still a cool thing, Josh. Cool, yeah, <laughs> I wish you would have never done it. Those no, charities didn't need it. <laughs> it is cool. It's cool. All right, it's cool. But I'm just saying, I don't think she's that much of a hero if she's like. So How get, much did you get a charity last year? Yo, a lot of those dudes do it for tax write offs. I heard she's a firefighter. <laughs> I heard she saved 37 children from a burning building. <laughs> That's my mom, okay? Yeah, Wait, but how I'm big was the building? Mom. How big was the fire? <laughs> <laughs> I heard that she rescued all the orphans, but how sad were they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's, that's a good one. That you guys, was good. Did you guys Thanks. hear about the uh, Brazilian who uh, left his fortune to somebody at a two million, $200 million fortune? He didn't want to leave it to his family. What? And he's a fan of Neymar, so he wrote a will and gave Neymar his two hundred. Bro, what's Neymar? What's he's Neymar? A, he's the soccer player from Brazil, <laughs> the one who signed a two hundred fifty million dollars. Yeah, he's like Lord good Lord for him. <laughs> he gave two hundred million dollars to Neymar. Why not? Why um, not? Here's a funny thing that I saw on TikTok. Um, there's this English woman, and she got this terrible migraine, and. Uh, her English accent turned into a Chinese accent. Dude, what? this is a real thing. And it's called <laughs> it's called foreign accent syndrome. And there's only been 150 known cases. Did you just learn about this? Yeah. That's so funny. Well, I've heard, I, I heard one that like before. like went into like a coma or something and like woke up. Yeah. And like their accent was completely different. Dude. It's that is the most bonkers thing. It's the funniest thing to watch. Though. <laughs> oh no! Because it sounds like it's like a little racist. Thing. Yeah, it's, it sounds incredibly racist. Oh, yeah. It's not racist because it's not intentional. But she can't but help like, it. Yeah, it's, it's, she it's, literally yeah. can't help it, dude. And it's just the comparison between her regular voice and the uh, the other one. It's just it's night and day. Oh yeah. my gosh! And it's, the fact I don't understand how the brain works like that. I know it's crazy. It kind of freaks me out. Right? Yeah. yeah. Then it like it's just like oh man because it just, can betray you at yeah, any yeah. moment. Yeah. What accent? I'll think of all the accents we've done. Yeah. If we ever get an accent, like, dude, what? what's the one okay, that's okay. gonna pick? Here's the question: If you were to go into a short coma and wake yeah. up, what accent would you want? Oh, that is a good question. Uh, I automatically think Scottish. Scottish would be Scottish. Dope. Is the only accent that I really feel like I, I'm never gonna be able to accomplish to do. Yeah, and it's such a cool sounding. Uh, Scottish accent. would be dope. I think Jamaican would be really fun. Yeah, mm. Jamaican would be fun. That'd be go really for cool. it. Try it. Okay. No, <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. But I would want say, French. Oh, French. Yes. All right. But I'm not good at it either. I'm not good at any accents. Good sure you song. are. No. Give us your... Um, no, don't. I don't <laughs> want... I shouldn't have. No, we have to... We have to no, we have I to don't want to... Um, no. New Jersey, go. No. I can't! That was I good. Can't. That was actually really good. No. They yell all the time. <laughs> 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 what do you want? Uh, I don't know. You got to pick one. Australian. All right. That's a good one. It's believable. Cool. Nor... What, what's the, what's the, what's the <laughs> least, uh, least wanted accent that you would want? Um, <laughs> Filipino. Probably the New York accent. The New York. Oh, I love yeah. New York. Like those guys on the street, they're like, what yeah. about the murder? What murder? <laughs> oh, yeah. You always say Boston. You don't like the Boston or New Jersey, like Long Island. I don't like the Long Island accent too much. The transatlantic accent would be the most obnoxious thing in the world. Yeah. Look at the legs on that tomato. Like oh. that, like that real, like that. That would actually be everyone, kind of fun. Though. <laughs> it would be, it would be cool. But then you hang around and Our like. Our podcast would sound like an old timey like radio show. <laughs> it'd be like, imagine just talking to somebody like someone's breaking up to you in a transatlantic accent. Like, yeah. 
It's not you, it's me. You gotta hit the road, Jack, eh? <laughs> Listen, it's not you, it's me, see? I always ended with C, because that's how I... <laughs> that's, yeah, that's how yeah. it was. Everyone did. Um, Everyone did. <laughs> of course. That's how they talked. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I think accents are uh, so fun listening to. I love. Um, I was listening to the documentary uh, called Grizzly Man. Have you heard of him? Uh, Timothy Treadway, the guy that went and lived with the grizzlies in Alaska. Oh, and oh he got gosh. eaten, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. him yes. and his girlfriend both got eaten, unfortunately. Yes. But there's the documentary guy. He has this accent that I cannot put a pin on it. But as soon as I was listening to it, I was like, I don't like this dude's accent at all. I couldn't. I, I couldn't pinpoint what voice, like what uh, what region he's from or anything like that but it's very hard to listen to i struggle with josh watches all he gets all those tiktoks on his for you page who's that guy he's very informative and he's young like oh really the tan. um dylan the blonde blonde hair guy is like did you see what happened and la 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 oh i don't well, know it sounds you like know he, it sounds like he, he has 10 different accents he's, he's south african one. oh yeah i usually like a, a south african you've accent. seen him i'm yeah, just gonna know. show you his uh yeah. Keep talking. I'm going to show you what he looks like. Yeah, let me switch up. I'll go South African. Elon oh, Musk. yeah. Yeah. Say that would be cool. Say this guy. Oh, no. I don't. I don't I you've never you, seen you, him? You've, you've shown me his stuff, but I have you never seen, seen him on mine. Nope. What? That's anyway. Oh, He's very about- smart and informative. I just don't like his accent. They say yeah. hey, they have a stat that his um, channel on TikTok is the number one news source on TikTok. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's pretty amazing. It w- surpassed like CNN, like everyone Jeez. on TikTok. He's the number one. And he's, okay, well, I'll have to look him up. He's super I've fun. Like nice. he's very informative and like. I've been doing Philip DeFranco. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. He's pretty like quick, fast and stuff on things like that. But um, I'll check him out. That's, yeah. That's dope. Um, he doesn't have very many opinions, which I like too. He doesn't push yeah, his he's opinion. Not, yeah, he's not super opinionated. I wonder how we sound to people who've never listened to us before. Because I feel like, I'm like, my voice would probably be pretty annoying after a while. I actually thought about that the other day. Right. I'm like, what does my voice sound like to other people? Yeah. I know what my voice sounds like to other people. <laughs> Take the mic away from her. I'm super familiar with how people translate. It's, it, it's our fault though, because we always edit our reels to where yeah, that's you true. have your reactions. That's what I'm talking about. Because even like this most recent But they're real one, reactions. Yeah. yeah but yeah. I know, but I don't talk other than screaming like, in these. What? No. And so, what? someone commented on the most recent one where I, I'm reading about Benjamin Franklin and they said, oh, she's in her contributing era. <laughs> That's what they said, and I'm like, "What about the jerks?" I always contribute, <laughs> but they make it look like I don't. Does she just yell all the time? That's like literally what people are saying. Yes, what I, yeah, what I never understand it's is Paul's fault. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no, the people who are like, "What is she even there for?" Yeah, and I'm like, the camera will cut to me, and I don't say anything in these podcasts. <laughs> no, I'm but like, what am I here? I've for? seen a lot now because no, it's racist us that they into do the same category. Now <laughs> I've been out of the. They're like, "What are they talking? What are they giving there?" Hey, you can make fun of you can make fun of Lily, but if you make fun of Andrew. That's racist, and I hate you. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> We're reporting you. <laughs> oh, but it's it is one of those things where you're giving reactions, and when the same thing when the Benjamin Franklin one, we reacted just like you do. Yeah. But it's just most of the time we're sharing the stories. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's if you want to complain, keep complaining. I guess just imagine, keep boosting our algorithm. Can you yeah, imagine though if you guys would finish a story and it was just me reacting? <laughs> <laughs> wow. What? That's cool. Give us a give us a little reaction. <laughs> I tried to get my voice so much higher that it went. You sounded like a duck almost. <laughs> if, that, if I stepped on a duck, that's the sound it would make. <laughs> my brain thought it was about to make such a higher voice. I love that it took you zero seconds to do it, though. That was good. If I thought that about it, it would never happen. That was good. Just pulled the trigger. Um, all right, this is the last thing I have. Uh, did you see that lady on the airplane who had a, like a freak out? Mm-hmm. Okay, Lily showed me this, showed me it yesterday. I'm like, don't look into it anymore because yeah. there's theories behind it. It, it did yeah. scare me a little. At yeah. first, okay, yeah. you discount it. Well, because I saw it, I'm like, okay, this lady's being whatever. They said that she was intoxicated, whatever. Yeah. You she see those videos all the time. Look intoxicated to me. No, she. Was, I could see. I could see moments where I was like, yeah, I could see that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. She just um, looked really scared. Yeah, I thought. Yeah, she did. Yeah, once you start learning yeah. something. Yeah. This is, I don't know if you saw this, but okay, this lady gets up and she's freaking out and the they're on the tarmac about to take off. She's like, get me off this flight. And she like rushes up the aisle and she says some bad words, but she's like, um, that person, that person back there is not real. And everyone goes, 
Yeah. Even the camera goes yeah. with the head. <laughs> like the whole plane just like turned around like what? Yeah. Um and then like and people are saying like that you're like it. yeah, you're intoxicated. That yeah. would make sense. Okay. But I saw this TikTok of this dude who was on that flight. Oh my gosh. And was sitting behind her seat. I already have goosebumps. And I saw I saw a side angle shot too. Yeah, yeah, side okay. angle, but this dude was sitting behind didn't okay. film it, but he's telling his account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um Seems like a completely normal dude. Yeah. And he's like, I just been processing because I, he's like, I started seeing all the videos on TikTok of it going viral. He's like, I just started processing everything that I saw. And so I'm making this video. Yeah. He said, what I saw was this lady sitting next to this man who had a, a hoodie up, like a green hoodie. Uh oh. And he, or he said, I don't remember what color the hoodie was. It was a green one. Mm -hmm. Um, and she was talking to him, but like it was, and he was just staring at her ew, just ew, like ew. this. Just staring at her, but she was talking like they were having a conversation, and so like, but he was just not moving, just staring at her, and like she would like respond to him with <gasps> certain stuff, and he's like, it was super weird, it almost seemed like she was almost like hypnotized in a way, yeah, like, and maybe he was speaking to her mind. Well, yeah, mm. and something <laughs> something happened to where she got like freaked out by it, yeah, and she's like. She's like, I gotta hey, go. she's like, get, can you get me off this flight? Oh my goodness. And the, the flight attendants are like, hey, let's just calm down. She's like, no, get me off this flight. She's like, I can't be here. I cannot be here. And that's when she ran up to the thing and said, like, uh, that person back there is not real. And then the dude's like, I remember when she got up, or the flight attendant asked the guy, like, what happened? And yeah. he's just basically like, oh, with the hood up. Like, I don't think he said anything. Yeah. And then he said the guy turned around with the hood and looked at him like dead in the eye. And he said he winked at me. <laughs> and he said, he said, I don't want to, this, this sounds psycho. Mm. But he's like, when I saw it, I froze in fear because he's like, did I just see what I just saw? And he said, when the dude winked at him, stop. he said, how your eyelid winks like that. He said yeah. it winked sideways. Oh, no. Oh no, like a lizard. Like yeah. a lizard! Oh, no. oh. oh. I need to wear a hoodie because lizards are cold blooded. Mm. <laughs> but there were some, because I was, oh, I was scrolling man. and there's like those like weird people on TikTok are like, it was actually a reptilian that no, she goodness. saw. I'm like, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Yeah, well. yeah, yeah, yeah. And this dude who was sitting there, he's like, I looked at his other stuff. He doesn't talk about oh, reptilians. No. He's like, the, when the dude winked at me, his eye winked. Sideways. Like, sideways. Alien. Um, part of what she she was yelling, she was like, you're all going to die. Oh, yeah. Get off this flight. And then everybody's like discrediting her. And some of the comments were like, me, though, exiting that. Yeah, be like, me, I'll be like, okay, <laughs> I think I want to go, too. I, I don't know if I dress this lady, I, but I'm leaving. I've seen Final Destination. I don't oh, need yeah. that type of juju in my life. Like, no. That's, dude, oh, that'd be so scary. So um, it's like that's what they say the Denver airport's hiding. So, But, I mean, true. Okay, this lady's blown up was on Was he on the way to though. Denver? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like you kind of want her to get on TikTok and explain yeah. Yeah. what happened. No, oh, she's been missing. <gasps> really? No. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> not that I know. Oh my gosh, that poor lady! Like everybody's making fun of her, but it's like she probably had like a traumatic experience, or she was just intoxicated and made a fool of herself, or that. Yeah. But she seemed terrified. Yeah. So like, if she was having some sort of anxiety attack, it's yeah. I'm surprised me. there's no videos of the actual thing, like that, like who she was sitting next to. Because yeah. there's well, not. They, they zoom like the zoom in is like yeah. the dude with the green hood just like looking over the seat like this. Ugh, I don't oh like. My gosh. What I don't mo what I don't like about this the most is that we're not going to get closure on it. I know. <laughs> like, that, I know. like I just want to know what happened. We yeah. should invite her on the pod. Yeah. 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 But say no swear. She, she's like. None of you are real. Yeah, real. I come dressed as an avatar. <laughs> <laughs> you figure uh, out how to blink sideways. <laughs> yeah. I so. figure it out. <laughs> this is YouTube and Andy. Come on. Hey guys. So you just heard a really spooky story about a lizard man on a plane. Well, immediately after filming that, uh, turning off the cameras, Andy pulls up the video and reads the description of the video. And um, just go ahead and read that real quick. It just says, I completely made this up. Just wanted to see how gullible people are on this app. So so that means, hey, maybe don't believe everything you see on the internet. <laughs> but it is fun to listen to. It is. Right, Andrew? Yeah. Okay, that's it. What was it, what was it that she saw? We'll never know. We'll never we, know. Or we never will know. know. And we'll all be terrified. Yeah. 
I don't want I'm to already know. scared. She that was really genuine. Like she like had to take a breath. She was yeah. so scared. Just find her on TikTok. There's one video and it's her going acting. <laughs> <laughs> no. You, you could see and scene. <laughs> she does like you can I don't know. I don't want to say it. Never mind. It's just kind of one of those things where it's like you just she doesn't look like a person. She looked like a person that was she looked like a mom that was just yeah. traveling yeah. with her family or something. So it just it didn't look like it didn't look. Yeah, she didn't look the type Were to you say have Karen? an issue. No, it just didn't look like somebody who was like losing their mind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and oh, like, see, and, yeah. and I know that's not really fair thing to say, but but I'm saying like she just she looked put together like she yeah. looked like she was traveling yeah. like with her family or something. But like I don't I don't know. That dude's story is weird though. Is like how she was talking to him and he like wasn't responding, but she was responding to him. Yeah, like they yeah. were having a conversation. Yeah, yes. I'm gripped with fear, just especially if that because of what you just said. <laughs> I literally am not going to sleep tonight. I'm speaking to your mind. So, I'm like. I see cold over here. I'm I've already scared. seen. I'm just seeing the wink in my mind, and I don't like. I don't ah, like it. Oh my gosh! Tell me something funny. Um, Ada ripped open a stretch Armstrong today and started eating it, yeah. <laughs> just like your dad. Yeah. Dude, have we talked about that? I don't think so. Because you guys need <laughs> to talk about it with him. He needs to be invited on. Oh man. Well, I'll just share the story because I brought it yeah. up. Okay. But we will have my dad on at oh, some point. Please. My dad, it was <laughs> this year on his birthday. No, it was Christmas because he got one for Christmas. Christmas I know, Eve. But it was his birthday. Oh, the same day. Christmas yeah. Eve. Yeah, Christmas Eve. Christmas Steve. Um, but my brother in law got him a stretch Armstrong because he used mm. to love those as a kid. And he said, You know what's so awesome about these? He's like, I bet you guys didn't know. Stretch Armstrongs are filled with candy. <laughs> and we're like, what dad <laughs> and he's like yeah he's like i remember being little you rip it open there's like red stuff in it and like you'd eat it and it's sweet i said dad i don't think that was candy <laughs> and like you could see it and it's like it's for process. the 56 years he's been on this earth yeah he just like realized like oh my gosh yeah maybe it wasn't candy. Just the, 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 <laughs> like his eyes are like oh <laughs> the curtain gets pulled back. <laughs> no! What do you no! mean it's not candy? You were eating plastic. <laughs> but it is corn syrup, right? Yeah, I discovered today because Ada ate, the, and I was like, is it toxic or whatever? It, it literally, it's um, it's plastic still, but wrapped in corn syrup, which is like, what the heck, why? Green, but that's basically fruit snacks. That's <laughs> yeah, literally true. fruit snacks. Yeah, yeah, true, though. So, yeah, but she ate it, then I was digging it out, she bit my finger, and then she hit my head injury with a spatula. So yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah, slow down. It, like, <laughs> like oh. say the sequence of events. So, it was so funny because <laughs> Lily's texted me when it was happening. I got her vitamins, right? We were taking her vitamins and we say, just one, you know, and then she puts it in her mouth and she spits it out and she does it like <laughs> 80 times. And I'm like, at least she's getting maybe something <laughs> on her tongue. Um, and so she's doing that and then she comes up and she's like chewing something and I'm figuring it's her vitamin and then I keep like trying to figure it out and I'm digging in there and then we go and we look and your mom sees there's sand what appears to be sand all over the table with the stretch Armstrong in the middle and we're like oh that's what she's eating like Steve and <laughs> like Steve oh no and we're like oh my gosh and so I'm like trying to dig it out of her mouth and then I'm digging I'm digging I'm digging and she goes like bites. bit hard it hurts so bad it still Ouchy. hurts really bad bites my finger and then she's also holding a wooden spatula and she rears it up on accident she didn't mean to hit me and hits me right in my head injury from last week oh when i got hit by goodness. the ceiling fans and i went this is chaos she's going for your weakness <laughs> yeah and then it woke jane up yeah <laughs> perfect perfect that's amazing um, one time uh we were a friend was telling us a really creepy story from their childhood like there was just it's it's really really scary like they were walking past this trail on the way to school and stuff like that and mm -hmm. there was a shed and there was just, they just heard really loud noises sound like radio static whatever and they just kept walking past it every day of school and it just kept getting worse for a few days and spooky so they went up to it and it, they put their ears and it just sounded this old shed in the woods right they open it up some bodies in there <gasps> what right you, wait, you knew these no, people the, yeah we knew the people in there in texas and they so are dead they no we oh the people are telling us this is what happened to them. They oh. were the ones that found the shed. And so they call the police and everything. Like, it's a huge scene. And it's, like, this very, very deep, dark story that they were telling. And it was, like, very creepy. We're, like, on the edge of our seats. We're, like, this is so, like, oh, it just creeps us out. Because there was, like, a big back history with the guy who owned it. Oh, no. And uh, Kelsey was super creeped out. So she yeah. picks up uh, Demi, who's not even a year old yet. Super sweet. And she's just patting her, just huddling her. She's, like, oh, it's just so scary. And then, no joke, never has happened ever. Demi bites Kelsey <gasps> on the shoulder while oh. she's holding. <laughs> and she and screams bloody murder. Oh, wait. What, what happened right before that is because uh, she's holding Demi and Demi looks at Kelsey and she goes, 
Mama. Like in a deep, dark, scratchy voice for the first time ever. And then Kelsey's like, and then we start laughing because it sounded really, really scary. And then it scared Kelsey. And she's like, stop. And so she starts patting Demi. And then Demi bites her on the oh shoulder. Gosh. And so the Kelsey's like, I can't right now. <laughs> Take her. Take her. Yikes. Wait, so what happened with these bodies? They were murdered. There was, yeah, it was some type of weird cult thing in the middle of Texas. Yeah. Whoa, Waco? Yeah, yeah, not Waco. No, oh. no. This one, yeah, it was a really weird one, but. Yeah, that was, that was my. I, I said the Stretch story. Armstrong thing yeah. to. Because you asked me <laughs> something funny. <laughs> <laughs> you just talked about dead bodies. Just, you, the, the kid biting reminded me of that. Mm. Yeah. Um, okay, someone in with something happening. I could tell you uh, a story about a guy who um, caused a catastrophe in Missouri <laughs> one time. That doesn't sound happy. It's a little, it's a little silly, goofy. <laughs> okay. Okay. So this guy uh, named James Scott, I believe is his name. Uh, James Scott, he... It's two first names. That's his two first names. Yep, James Scott. He wanted to go party, and he wanted to go fishing, and his wife would not allow him to do that. Um, this guy was in and out of jail his whole life, and he was married, and he wanted to um, just go and have fun without his wife, you know, breathing down his neck. So what mm -hmm. he did... He knew that there was one way out of this city um, where she worked, where she, she worked, and there was this big river, the Mississippi River. It was causing a lot of flooding, so they built a levee. And rumor has it, he went over and removed some of the parts to this levee and caused a flood because he was just trying to cause this road to flood. What he ended up doing was causing, let's see how much, um, 14,000 acres of land to be flooded. Oh, no. Several businesses destroyed. Oh, no. And ho 40 homes completely ruined. Oh, my gosh. Causing about a um, million dollars of damage. All because this dude wanted to party and go out and hang out. And um, then he got fun. sentenced to 20 years in prison. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just. Uh, but now he gets to go hang out without his wife just, for twenty years. <laughs> hey, congratulations, buddy! Yeah, you did got it. What you wanted. But it's just the fact that like that guy is going to with you know that type of limitations just to go yeah. and do yeah. something, It'd hang be out. Yeah, crazy. Okay, I'll end with something happy. Okay, cool. Good. It's, it's funny. Uh, Richard Harris. You know who that is? No. The actor who played the first Dumbledore. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, it was later in his life. He saw a picture with him sitting in front of a Rolls Royce. Mm -hmm. And he's like, he's like, I don't have a Rolls Royce. He's like, I've never owned a Rolls, Rolls Royce. And it said that he was like so confused by it and asked like everyone he knew. He's like, do I own a Rolls Royce that I like don't know yeah. about? And then it said that he like contacted his two ex-wives. He's like, <laughs> did I ever buy a Rolls Royce for me or you? You guys? And they're like, no. Turns out uh, he had a drinking problem. <gasps> oh, no. And he was in New York, and this guy gifted him a Rolls Royce, and he left it in a parking garage in New York City, no completely forgot about it for, like, I think it was over 20 years. It's still there? Still there. And, but he what? was, he, the parking fee was over $400 a month. <gasps> no so he paid way. over $90,000 to have this Rolls Royce parked there. But he was so rich, like, he's just like, yeah, he's got that he's like, I, don't know what, I don't know what this <laughs> bill is, but yeah. Oh my god! He, he owned a Rolls Royce and Dude, completely forgot about it. That is insane. Oh, yeah. so he was 90, continuously 000. paying. He was paying the parking. That's fee. the bill. Yeah. Oh yeah. man. <laughs> and so they would just take the car. Out. He's like, someone I've been paying for. Yeah, because someone. Get, it was like a director of a movie or something gifted him a Rolls oh, Royce, funny. but it was at a party. And he, and he totally just forgot. he drank too much and completely <laughs> forgot about it. Could you it. imagine? That's but so he funny. did take the yeah. picture in front of it. <laughs> yeah. Could you imagine owning a Royce, Roy, Royals, Rolls Royce, Royce and forgetting about it? I wish. Like just, I wish. <laughs> that was I, my case. I know. <laughs> Golly, uh, that's nuts. I anyways, thought, I thought you were gonna say uh, like he had like a he found like like a long lost brother or something. No, so just that, a car. I remember like you remember Bruce and Michael Buffer. Oh the, yeah, you've heard that story. You yeah. know the big like let's get ready to rumble and oh. it's it's time. Uh, guy so from the UFC. UFC and the WWE, right? Uh, no, or, he, no boxing. Like boxing. Yeah. So these two guys are like, uh, you know, the greatest announcers. Like it's the yeah. ready to rumble guy and the it's time for it's, UFC. It's, it's time. It's, yeah. Standing in the blue corner. Like it's insane. He's, you know what you're talking about? They're, yes. they're yeah. iconic. Um, but the thing is they had already established their careers. And one day this guy sees Michael Buffer or Bruce Buffer. I can't remember which one it was, but he's like, he has my same last name. Oh, calls his dad. And he's like, do I have a brother? He says, yeah, you do. Uh, 
And it turns out they didn't know each other until they were 30, 40 years old. Oh, my gosh. And they found each other. They literally went into the same line of field, became iconic wow. in their sport. And like, and now they're like, you know, they're great brothers and friends. Now they go so on picnics. Yeah, they and do. They, they, uh, the dad's also an announcer, right? Oh, I don't know. Because I, I, I think I heard a story of the UFC guy, like, had his vocal cords modified to sound like his dad. I feel like he was like a you boxer. You can do that? Yeah, of course you, you can. I want to do that. How did that girl in London do it? Oh, the Chinese yeah. accent, yeah. Just got to <laughs> get hit in the head. <laughs> Nature versus nurture, right? Mm. Crazy. Oh, that weird? what if while in a coma, she's having conversations with somebody? Like you like transport it. somewhere else. Or aliens transported another person's psyche inside of her brain. Ooh. Maybe she's that guy in the hoodie mm. on the plane. <gasps> oh. Dude, all the stories are connecting. <laughs> they are. <gasps> oh. Okay, that's I'm it. Scared. That's it. Episode 47. In the books, baby. Boop, boop, boop. Um, make sure to like and subscribe. Don't like. I mean, I, I like yeah, the YouTube help. video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Just um, make sure to comment, review, share it with the pod. Um, five the stars. Pod. Yep. Share it with a friend. The other day, I opened up the email that shows all the reviews, and it was like 20 reviews nice. in like a day. Yeah. Nice. nice. And it was awesome. That really helps us. The reviews really help us, guys. So hit those five stars if you like it. Um, best show around as far as I'm concerned. And also go to ninjas of butterflies.com, sundaycoolswag.com, get yourself some ninja merch. While it's hot. <laughs> um, comment, what should we talk about next podcast? Yes. Yes. Yeah, give us some suggestions. Although we're gonna film it before we see the comments. We'll True. we'll we'll talk hey, about go, go to the um go to the Instagram. We're gonna always post what should they post comment? more questions. What should they on comment there. though? Um, they need a, they need the Hogwarts a thing? Yeah, yeah, what do you guys think that which uh, house do you think all of us would be in? Are we are we correct in our choices, or and then which one are you? Yeah, or nice. is witchcraft a sin, and we should avoid watching Harry Potter? Yeah. Also, should we do the Enneagram? Yes or no? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, I'll do it again. I want to do it. Okay, you love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye. 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 <laughs>